Welcome to today's webinar on computer vision and the edge and how we get value from that combination. I'm Wayne Arvidson. I am the Global Director of Market Development and Strategy here at Dell, and I look forward to walking you through this today. A little bit about my background, just so you have some context. Um, I was very privileged in the beginning of my career to start with a company that developed the process called raster image uh, processing. We uh, teamed up with a couple of little startups, both whose name began with an A and revolutionized the publishing industry with desktop publishing. And it was significant because it allowed uh, for the first time people control over design and content and distribution of uh, printed materials like they never had before. Uh, 2D was kind of interesting, and from there I learned that uh, we could use the same technology to produce video. So I got into uh, video, eventually into high-end film and broadcasting, um, but then discovered there's got to be other uses for video other than entertainment. So we started to take this concept of computer vision and use it for applications like healthcare, for remote surgeries or um, applications like digital prototyping and manufacturing, um, and eventually for intelligence and security for keeping people safe. We're in this third wave now. So what we're doing is we're taking that video data and we're applying artificial intelligence and machine learning to it, and we're able to extract insights like we've never seen before. Innovation is really fundamental to what's going on in today's businesses. A lot of verticals have adopted artificial intelligence, but we're seeing it become more mainstream in uh, businesses. So what we're gonna talk about today is a little bit about some of the market trends. We're gonna talk about the Dell validated design solution and our process for delivering that. And we're gonna talk about how we focus on outcomes and workflows in order to deliver uh, in actionable insights for business today. I'm with the Global Industries team. One of the things we do, we have thousands of customer meetings every year. We take that input in, we bring that into the product groups at Dell, and that's what drives our Dell Validated Design Solutions Roadmap. Once we've uh, created these platforms, then what we do is we work with the ISV partners, the applications partners that deliver the workflow. We roll these solutions out to both the Dell sales, uh, Dell channel partners and Dell OEMs and bring them out to customers. Our team's comprised of both workflow experts and architecture experts from the industries that they serve. So. Uh, our healthcare people are from the healthcare industry, our manufacturing from manufacturing, our public sector people have worked in law enforcement and government. And so we help our customers all the way through to implementation with these, uh, with these particular solutions. If we look at using a typical city as an example for a computer vision use case, it's one of the most difficult use cases to solve for because it's such a broad area uh, physically, and the number of cameras and the number of devices that connect to it are, are enormous. And so if you think about that, there's many, many use cases from safe intersections to parking to dynamically routing traffic uh, that come into play that are enabled by computer vision. Now, everybody shops, so if we look at retail, again, this is where camera technology and extracting insights from video can be very useful. I can see shopper behavior. I can see, uh, are my customer service people interacting? What's happening with my inventory on the shelves? Um, how do I uh, prevent loss at self-checkouts by ensuring that the object scanned is indeed the object that was rung up? So these are the types of things that we're able to do with computer vision use cases. So if we look at what's going on in the, in the market now, a recent Forrester study told us that 67% of companies are looking at being able to do more with computer vision type of applications, yet 70% of them are already consuming data at a rate faster than they can deal with. 
turning these videos into insights is a competitive advantage. Companies in this, in uh, any space, basically, that have adopted artificial intelligence and computer vision are seven times more successful than their competitors. The ones that are successful realize that it takes an ecosystem of partners in order to create the solutions. They can't do it with a single vendor. They can't do it with a, uh, a single application. So analytics is really in its kind of third iteration. If you look at the first generation of analytics, it was really about retrospective. It was about understanding trends and what happened in the past. Right? Then we had the big data era and the cloud. So when we got there, then it was a lot more about understanding not just the why, but the what uh, when we were looking at uh, computer generated insights. And we were starting to move a little more to the, towards the predictive phase. Now what we're in is this third phase where we're really getting proactive. And what we're doing here is we're taking these, these insights they're supplemented by artificial intelligence and machine learning, and we're using them in order to understand what's going to happen. Where do we need to deploy human resources so that they're more impactful? And how can we look at what future trends are going to be based on what's happening in real time? The key to success with this particular solution is we're seeing data's center of gravity move closer to the edge. Data has got to be at the place where the physical activity is taking place. And there's a lot of value to that. One is we're getting that information in real time. You know, two, we're able to protect that data by keeping it at the edge location. But if we're expecting to get insights that are actionable, we've got to be collecting that data and working on that data at the edge where uh, the activity actually takes place. Moving to the edge, though, it creates some it creates some issues for us, and it creates it with some different constituents than we've had before. So now we have data science people and data engineers that are creating the models and the algorithms that we're using to look at this data. IT is challenged because they've got data types and infrastructure that they've never dealt with before. Right? Everything before was in a siloed type of environment. And now what's happening is because of the third constituency, the line of business managers who are interested in getting these insights so that they can make business decisions on them, we're creating a framework where we're, we're trying to ingest this data once and manage it and then get these multiple insights from it. So. If you look at the compute models that supported that, right? we started, as we talked about, with a centralized model. So that's where the training model sat in a centralized location. Data scientists created it. The problem is that when we start looking at things like video data, which 90% of edge data is video, the problem we have is bandwidth. Imagine sending four or 8K video up to some centralized location. It's just not possible. So then we went to a distributed model. This is where we moved all the compute back down to the edge. That solves the bandwidth issue, but what we end up with is we end up with regionally biased data because we're only getting insights based on where that compute location is taking place. Good example of that, going back to our city, that we talked about, the way that people drive in Florida, for example, is very different than the way people drive in California. So if I'm trying to design a safe intersection, I don't make sure that I'm taking into account all these models from all different locations. And so I can't do that in a distributed environment. So what we've created at Dell is a federated environment. So it combines the best of both worlds. We're doing the analytics and inferencing at the edge location, but we're sending the results of that inferencing, not the data itself, but the results of that inferencing back to the centralized location. The model is getting improved, and then we're using our software-defined infrastructure to push that, uh, that newly trained model back down to the edge, and we're able to get better quality insights as a result of that. 
Now, there's a lot of complexity to creating these data models and engineering. And another part of the, the tool that we've done is to simplify that front end. If you look at a typical design environment, it had 54 steps to it to create a data model for something like that. And we've been able to reduce it down significantly and accelerate the development of these particular edge-based applications in order to gain these insights. So the, the, the solution that we've built, our, our computer vision framework is really very simply the ability to ingest structured and unstructured data, normalize it, extract the insights from it, provide data management tools, wrap it all with cybersecurity and then automation. And so our Dell validated design solution, as we said, it eliminates these appliance-based silos of information and creates this hyper-converged infrastructure. So we're ingesting IoT sensor data, video data, wrapping it with an analytics engine, and then protecting it all with cybersecurity. And the important thing in an edge-based infrastructure is that it's, it's a lot like, if you think about it, like your house. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure we didn't leave any doors or windows unlocked. So we do endpoint vulnerability and penetration testing. Then, you know, once, you, once you're sure everything's secure, you wanna make sure that you're monitoring your home so there's no intrusion. So we monitor threats on an ongoing basis. And then lastly, in the unlikely event that somebody got in, we've gotta be able to remediate that. So our cybersecurity does all that. Um, which is critically important when you're dealing with things like cameras and IoT sensors within your infrastructure. So that platform allows us to run uh, video analytics and it also allows us to run this federated uh, analytics and federated learning platform uh, that I discussed earlier. So again, that centralized model is deployed to our edge locations. Our edge locations are, are inferencing those, those models and producing the insights. The results of the inferencing only are sent back to the central location. And then the orchestration model pushes that newly trained uh, model back down to those edge locations. So we're constantly producing better quality insights from this, and we're doing it in a zero trust um, environment. So one of the things that really differentiates the, our Dell solutions is our validated design solution process. So that starts by understanding what our customers' outcomes are. From that, we determine what workflow will deliver that outcome. Once we've defined that, we look for the ISV partner that's going to be best suited to deliver that particular workflow partner that has those algorithms. And when we vet partners, we vet them not only from a technology perspective, but also from a, from a business perspective and their ability to deploy and scale. So once we've identified those partners, then what happens is we've got a couple of co-managed labs. We've got one at Intel, and we've got one at NVIDIA. And what happens there is they provide developer resources that help those applications become optimized on the Dell platform. And I'll give you an example of that. We had uh, one of our smart city partners. They have a very sophisticated algorithm around behavioral analysis. When they came into the lab, they could do seven streams of video. When they left the lab, they could do 70 streams of video. So that radically changed the economics. It radically changed the performance characteristics. It made the solution much more accessible to a broader range of customers. Um, so that optimization step is really important. Once we've got that optimized application, then it moves into the Dell Validation Labs. In the Dell Validation Labs, what we're doing is, is a couple of things. We're testing to scale. So most times when you read about uh, products that have, have been tested, you know, I've run application A on platform Z and it works. 
And then I've run application B on platform Z and it works. And I run application C on platform Z and it works. And by some magical mathematical property, uh, they convince you that A and B and C should run seamlessly on the platform. In our experience, that's not the case. So what we do is we bring all the elements of the workflow, the multiple ISVs, we recreate that workflow in the lab, we scale from tens to tens of thousands of devices, and that's how we do the testing. And through this testing, we work at an engineering level with the ISV partners to ensure you know, the best utilization of our compute resources and optimum performance. Once we go through that validation process, we do a process that's called test to fail. So we introduce various failures. That helps us with correctly sizing and architecting the solution. What comes out of this process is a design guide, an implementation guide, and a sizing tool that helps our customers right size out of the gate from day one and beyond. From there, we move the solution into our customer solution centers and EBCs where they're available for both live and virtual demos. And then we also have several proof of concept centers that we host these solutions in. What we do is we allow our customers for up to 60 days to bring their data in and run it on these applications and ensure that it's going to work in their environment. So what we've done as a result of this process is we've minimized risk because we've tested all these applications together. We've accelerated implementation because we've created these tools from a design perspective and a implementation perspective, and we're providing better quality insights to our customers faster. So in summary, we've created a hyperconverged platform that allows us to ingest data once, have multiple applications extract information about it. It's easy to manage because it's a software defined infrastructure. So it scales up, it scales out. It has automation tools that make it easy to deploy and easy to manage. So when we work with customers, the main thing that we're focused on is outcomes. So, you know, we, as I said, in the beginning, we've spent you know, countless meetings, talking to thousands of customers. Um, we love to have those conversations about the art of the possible. What we found is not much happened as a, as a result. It's really about focusing in on an individual use case and being able to drive that forward. Now, we found five common themes emerge as we talk to customers. And the, the workflows, every workflow that we've run across, it fits into those five themes. So the first one is personnel and facility safety. The second one is personal experience. So if I'm a worker at a car manufacturing plant, what's my experience from the time I enter the facility till the time I leave? If I'm a fan at a stadium, what's my experience from the, the time I decide to buy a ticket till after I return home after the game? So that personal experience is, is a critical part that, that, that helps drive revenue. The third thing is our customers are looking for, how do I use AI and computer vision to help me from an operations perspective? How does it make me operationally more efficient? How do I reduce cost? How do I turn more aircraft around at a gate? Those types of things are critically important. The fourth category, and this is a big one for Dell, is sustainability. Almost every customer we have is talking about, how do I reduce my carbon footprint? How do I reduce waste? How do I make better utilization of water and power and our resources? And the fifth category is revenue enhancement. So what is it that I can use this technology to do in order to help me drive my business? So. If you look at those outcomes, there's countless examples that, that we could talk about um, that impact these, these various things. So let's take a stadium, for example. So what we'll do is we'll work with a stadium, we'll help them with the safety and security infrastructure. Those same cameras are looking at things from a retail perspective. So I'm looking at 
uh, customers that are, are walking through. I'm identifying certain demographics. I'm pushing digital signage uh, that uh, might alert them to something that's of interest to them at the fan shop, and that helps drive my per event revenue. I'm looking at how many people are coming up a particular area towards the concession stands. I know when to open uh, additional uh, resources there to impact not just the fans' experience, but again, capture more revenue per event. I'm looking at things from a uh, operational perspective, checking people in, because the sooner I get them into the stadium, the more revenue I'm gonna make. In manufacturing, I've got uh, things that I'm doing, like looking at production quality. I'm identifying whether somebody's in the right location or not. Do they have the right protective gear on? I can also, as things are going through the warehouse, I can be scanning them for size, weight, the barcodes for where their destination is, all from a single computer vision platform that's giving me these multiple insights. You know, hopefully what you've taken away from this is that we've created a validated design, right? That's minimized risk, will help you accelerate uh, your implementation of these solutions and give you better quality insights. We've got a robust ecosystem that's backed by one of the largest technology companies in the world. And we've created a platform that allows you to start on a single use case and then scale up and scale out as you add these uh, multiple use cases. So to continue on this journey, please feel free to reach out to us. We've got subject matter experts in almost every vertical. Um, they can help you with uh, design, uh, identifying the outcomes that you're trying to achieve, matching up those, those workflows. And uh, thank you for your, your time today and uh, we look forward to helping you on your uh, outcomes-driven insight journey.